Ratchet strainers are a fast and easy way of tensioning a fence if you don't have any of the other equipment like strainers and things like that. They're a little bit expensive, ranging in price from somewhere around five or six dollars right up to forty dollars I've seen some of the more fancy insulated jobbies. But there's a couple of tricks with these guys that you might not have seen before and today's video is about ratchet strainer hacks, stuff you might not have known. <laughs> Very quickly, for those of you who don't know how to use these things, tie your wire off to your end post using a termination knot. There's a link in the description how to do that. Then pass the wire through the hole in the tail, around the grooves once or twice to locate it on the ratchet and then simply twitch it off behind the ratchet. You don't really need to know complex knots to use these things. Then you pass the other end of wire that you're going to strain from the body of the fence through the little hole in the front and pass it through a hole in the spindle. If there's two holes in the spindle, always choose the hole that's closest to where you're going to apply the twisting tension. Be very careful if you're using a drill, use it on a low speed, low torque setting because broken wire hurts. And twist it up in a clockwise direction, making sure that the teeth bite on the other side of the frame and your wire is now tensioned. Of course, the advantage of these things is you can retension them over time, and they're usually going to be used in situations where people don't do proper end assemblies and all the rest of it. Okay, that's how these things are intended to be used. Let's check out a couple of hacks. Tip number one, don't tie off your wire to the end post, just thread it through the ratchet strainer and have it poke out the bottom, slide your ratchet strainer down the wire, then tie your fence off loose. Then use your ratchet strainer as a midline strainer. Job's done. Once again, something I wouldn't have thought of, and that's repairing a wire midline. Simply thread one of the wires through the spindle from underneath the rear end, and then the other wire comes in from the front as per normal. And this is the tricky bit. You've just got to orient your spindle around so that you can put both the wires inside the spindle and tighten it up. Not the prettiest, but it'll work and if you don't know knots and don't have tools, it'll get you out of trouble. Finally, one last tiny tip. Isn't it annoying when you use these things trying to pick out all of that wound wire. Just cut the wire off just behind the feeding hole in the front so that it's all nicely self-contained. Pop it into the vise. And get drilling. And just go nice and slowly. Job's done. Cut her off, you're right to use this one again. So there you go, there's a couple of tips and a few ideas you may not have had about the humble ratchet strainer. Big thanks to Murray Green from WA, he's the Gallagher rep over there. He gave me these ideas for the video and he does a power of work for customers over in WA, so if he's ever over helping you with your electric fence, make sure you offer him a cup of tea, hey? Drop a line in the comments section if you reckon there's a tip or trick that I've missed out on so far on the channel. I'd love to hear your suggestions. And in the meantime, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week with more tips and tricks, products, and other things.